Hello, hello, this is day 100 of learning cybersecurity. And um, today I did advance with the first exercise. However, I haven't finished that exercise. It will be the first one is navigate to the target, to the spam target, and then open the search report application and find through an SPL search against all data the other process that dumps I says enter the name of your answer and the format would be in that exe for this one but they are pretty much be looking for ISAS which is the um, is the program that handles credentials and passwords in Windows and it's usually when they try to steal your credentials is what they are looking for those type of, of events I'm still unable to filter all of them but I use these commands um, I can show you step by step how I I haven't finished I can t I want to tell you that now <laughs> I haven't finished but I have an advance uh, first you go to Splone Enterprise after you access the IP of the remote machine and go to search and report then you have to use the like the main ones change first this one to all times and remember that we use index index main index main let's see main 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 and the source type the source type do that we are using um, sysmon it has to be source type wind event logs sysmon and the event code that I use uh, what the event code that we are looking for it will be the number 10 the number 10 is the event code that is using for passwords and pretty much when someone access passwords I can show you here process access um, the process access event reports when a process opens another process and operations that's often followed by and queries and reading and writing the address space of the target process and this enables detection of hacking tools that reads and the memory content of process like local security authority that is LSA SS.exe, which is the one that we are looking for in order to steal credentials. Uh, with event code number 10, we know that which event um, we are looking for those logs that trick the event code number 10. And then I use, and you can f see the results now, and you will get multiple results. However, remember that now we are looking for LSASS, the program. Mm -hmm. For that one, what pretty much we can use target image. I can show you. Let's expand this and target, target image. We can use target image to filter by the target image that we are looking for which in this case it will be for um, lsafs.exe for this program is usually maybe we can get uh, yeah that will be like mm, the default path that you will find in windows for that program and with that, with that one we were able to filter and now we only have 238 events which is mm, um, it's not that it's not that many but we have to still filter in more than that and then I use call trace and I use call trace as unknown do that we don't know where it's coming from or yeah pretty much we don't have that information call trace unknown call trace unknown 
let's see more countries mm. more countries it will be um, unknown I'm not sure if we have to do it in uppercase I think oh no yeah well let's do it in uppercase and now we only have like really few details it will be only five events which is what we're looking for however we have to still filter um, those five events and yeah I'm still trying to look for what else can we filter maybe we can use different things like um, stats count by maybe how many times or by source name source name mm. source image it can be source image source image notepad uh, we can filter by source image source image also let's use stats stats count by source image come on let's see what information can we get source image notepad is only one and we have also um, pretty much run dll32.exe mm, notepad for notepad i'm not sure if notepad should be running that hmm notepad between both of them notepad call trace let's see the call trace and see what information are we getting call trace let's see the call trace and dll both of them look similar there is not much different in the call trace which can be dll uh, we we could try just to use it and <laughs> you know we can just take one of them and try on hack the box and press submit the answer and see if that one is correct or not however I would say that Notepad a looks suspicious, but run DL32 is also suspicious. No, we don't know from where they are coming from. Well, and both of them are using the event code number 10 and the source image is the one that we're looking for but see the account this one run four times which is a lot mm. we can try to investigate run dll theory in well and see in dll dumped attacked don't access access let's see detecting information run dll Mm, 
we are gaining only one response loaded living off the land binary thread actor frequency mini dump export mimicast is modified variant hmm let's see if we can get some information about it hmm Let's see, let's see, various else credential methods. Mm -hmm. Your DLL file process can be typically used in order to execute additionally process memory debug prime privilege called however however the privilege can easily be activated when executing using administrator privileges mm. it's a DLL file so the run dll32 that can be typically used in order to execute additionally to dump mm. allow allow all of them let's see only one of them mini dump as you can see we are found that this is pretty common to use that one but i would say that you can use both of them when it comes to injection code Building Windows tools such as can also be used. Mm, let's see. Unauthorized execute shown of DLL's memory. We have PowerShell. Event code. Yeah, I would say that one is the answer. That one, it should be the answer. okay awesome awesome um yeah pretty much that one was the answer I, I was just choosing between one of them because well a notepad can also be used for those purposes however it's apparently the common one is run dll 32exe is the common one and also it has four of like it was used four times executed four times which is, I don't know, I would say that is something suspicious, you know, do that, well, both of them are suspicious at this point, I would say, do that they first have an unknown code trace, and also both of them are opening event code 10, which means that they are accessing code, accessing pretty much, uh, yes, credentials, but I would say that run deal L32 is the I don't know it looks more suspicious to me but I would s in Windows I don't think that they show that one run here maybe we can see run run no no hmm. we can use maybe like run DLL versus notepad 
Node password, malware logs, I need to access or standard. Malicious code. As you can see, it's the common one. Malicious code. It's always mentioned. Versus Notepad. Detecting it. Yeah. I would say that we will leave it like that for now. Um, I see you tomorrow.